New for you right now at six this week, we have been looking at how the pandemic has left so many people feeling burned out. And tonight our focus is in the workplace where in many cases employees are feeling overwhelmed, tired and unmotivated. Channel 3's Wendell Edwards is looking at what employers are doing to help out and what you can do to stop it from getting worse. In Middletown, when the pandemic hit, Webco Plastic never shut down. The shop makes and molds plastic parts. It is considered essential. We closed the front office to isolate it from the rest of the facility to make face shields. Okay. So, so you shifted then? We shifted, pivoted, okay. yeah. Soon though, it was back to regular business, full throttle. Went from six to four and then from four to 2.30. But stress and fatigue began to show. Burnout set in. Company president David Parmerly saw it up close. We were less efficient for a while because we were doing more with less skilled employees. Worker burnout is real. It already existed pre-pandemic. So says an expert from Cal Berkeley, the leading expert on worker burnout. She says the pandemic just aggravated it. It's a stress response to chronic job stressors in the workplace uh, that have not been successfully managed. Our expert says worker burnout is defined by three feelings. Exhaustion. Many can identify with that. Negative feelings about your job. Why am I here? What am I doing? And worst of all, negative feelings about yourself. So what can you do to handle it? The Mayo Clinic offered these tips. Seek support. Reach out to coworkers, friends, or family to help you find ways to cope. If your employment has assistance programs, take advantage. Relax. Find some programs that can help ease your stress, like yoga or meditation. Exercise as much as you can and get some sleep. It helps restore well-being, according to experts. In COVID America, companies had to change too. If an employer can um, pivot and acknowledge that things are not the same, um, and we're going to do things a little differently. I think that will really help people. Many employers took action. Take Sikorsky, for example. The leading manufacturer of helicopters based in Stratford changed not just how the work is done, but when it's done. It's called flexible time. And flexible time means what exactly? Flexible 410 is a 10 hour day but how you work that 10 hour day is completely up to you. It gave employees power to set their own schedule. It's more a matter of focusing on the results that you're responsible for and using the flexibility of how you can manage your time within a 10 hour day to get work done. Webco instituted a change too. Employees now work three 12 hour days with four days off. That's 36 hours a week, but they still get paid for 40. Employee Gene Dybick says it made a difference. More time to relax, and by the time you get, came back to work, you were refreshed, truly. It's a change that may be permanent. Proof employers can do it differently, making sure employees are in a good place mentally, paving a way for perhaps a path of pandemic prosperity. Wendell Edwards, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.